What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we've got a couple of news stories for you. Handful of questions. Let's just dive into the tech news. First, our first story of the day has to do with the weight of, oh, I must grab the wrong phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 because it's going to be lighter than the Z Fold 3. In fact, the Z Fold 4 is going to be the lightest folding phone. I don't know if ever, but definitely of any of them that come out in 2022. Now, this information is coming from Ice Universe saying that the Z Fold 4 will be the lightest fold phone this year at only 254 grams. He does say that there's uh, rumors that 258 and 260 were the weight sizes, but he said, nope, it's going to be 250. For now, just for context, the Z Fold 3 weighs 271 grams, um, and I don't I don't know anything about grams, so I had to convert that into ounces. Both phones at two this at 271, the Z Fold uh, 4 at 254 are still about nine ounces, just obviously within that nine ounce range. So you probably you'll notice some difference, but not like an uh, astronomical amount. Of, um, uh, of of weight. The other part of this is that an iPhone, I believe, if unless I'm mistaken, weighs 250 grams, so or 240 grams actually. So an iPhone 13 Pro Max, very kind of heavy too. But at the same time, when you think about this phone being, you know, huge display and bigger overall in in a space area, then the iPhone 13 Pro Max is pretty impressive how light they're getting these phones in just a matter of a few years. Now, to add on to all this information, Anthony Galax put out a little tweet. Now, we will disregard his 258 grams because that's not correct, obviously, as we've seen earlier uh, from Ice Universe. But he's saying that the Z Flip 4 and Fold 4 will also come in Tom Brown special editions like previous models. Um, I don't know if that's a huge surprise. And also, who even buys the Tom Brown edition? It's kind of cool, but I, I don't even know who Tom Brown is. It's been four years. Z Fold 4, no 16 ga- uh, gigabyte RAM model. We've heard it's only going to be up to 12 gigabytes. Same S Pen. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was coughing. Same S Pen as the Z Fold 3. Um, so that's not really a huge surprise either. But both have less noticeable creases thanks to the stronger display. However, it is still noticeable, aka the crease is still noticeable. So a little bit of you know uh, reha- rehashed information there on the Z Fold 4, but still stuff that you might not have known. I didn't know about the, Z- the Tom Brown edition. Um, or at least you kind of expected it would probably happen anyway, but still we didn't fully fully know. And maybe he's hopefully he's right on that. Uh, but we'll definitely keep our eyes peeled as more Z Fold 4 information comes. Out your question of the day is, do you like these special editions of the phone? Um, They had a BTS version, they had a Tom Brown version of phones. Would you like to see more of that? Let me know in the comments down below. And if so, which version of the phone would you like to see? Let me know that as well. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Gage Blackwell saying, can you help me discover why the Z Fold 3 navigation bar seems to switch from the buttons to swipe gestures without me choosing to do it? So, I don't know. The only thing I can think of why it would stop you from doing that is maybe is, one, it could be a bug. I don't have that bug, but maybe it's a bug. The other reason is it potentially could be something to do with GoodLock is Navstar. So turn off Navstar and GoodLock if you're using it. Otherwise, I'm assuming you did this, restart your phone, and you obviously can change, you probably already know this, if you go into settings, and then I believe it's display, and then uh, navigation bar. You can change it in there, so I, why it would be happening to you. Lionel says, do you think Samsung will get a 60 watt charging on the S23 or future phones? Since OnePlus and other Chinese fo- uh, phones have that. S23, probably, I don't know, probably not. I think the next step they do would probably be 65 watt, not 60 watt, but I don't think we're gonna see 65 watt until S24. Brendan says, do you think the Z Fold 4 will have dust resistance? I, th- I think it will. Do I have heard that it will? I haven't heard that it will. Do I think it will? Yes, I think it will, but we'll see if that happens. Steiger says, after you remove the screen protector from the main screen, do you, don't you just get the same dirty fingerprints on the unprotected main screen? Uh, yes, so you do, but they're much easier to clean off than that plastic um, screen protector on there. So yeah, but yes, you do. Last question from Gamer Guy said, lost my 
Full S Pen, I'm thinking about ordering one. Now, if I order the S Pen Pro, will that work on the Z Fold 3 and 4 as well? I hate to have to order another pen when the Fold 4 comes out. Well, the S Pen Pro does work on the Z Fold 3, and I don't see why it wouldn't work on the Z Fold 4. The only problem you're gonna run into is you have no place to house it. There's no case that houses it, so you're gonna be carrying it in your pocket or something along those lines. So I would say just get a regular S Pen at that point. Thanks so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.